Hello and welcome to another Wilson 18 tutorial. In this video I'm going to be showing you how you can change your IP address, so that's your internal IP address, don't get confused with your external IP address, um, in Windows 8. So, as you may be able to tell, I'm in Windows 8. This is a virtual machine. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to go to the start menu at the bottom. We don't want to be in the stupid Metro interface, this isn't what we're after. Go to your desktop, as you should be on anyway. Metro interface is terrible. Unless you're on the touch screen, then I'll forgive you. Um, so then you need to go to this little network icon here. Um, if it's not there, it could be in this bit here, but yeah, it's usually here. You need to right click it and go to Open Network and Sharing Center. You then need to go to Change Adapter Settings, right click your um, network adapter that you're gonna use, and go to properties you can then scroll down to the internet protocol version 4 and here you can now enter your IP address so for example 192.168.1.66 I don't know and you can enter your subnet mask, which is normally 255.255.255.0, but if you know what you're doing, then just ignore that. And then you can enter your gateway, 192.168.1.1, which is me. And then you can enter a name server, or DNS, or whatever you want to call it. And I'm going to be using Google, because I much prefer their DNS servers than other... DNS servers and then you can go to advanced if you want to configure more addresses so for, for example 10.0.0.66 and that can have 255 address and you can also add multiple gateways if you need them okay so if you go ahead and close all of that down um, no network activity and let's come back so you can just go to run by pressing the windows key and R or if you want to go back to your metro interface you can just type in run open run and type in CMD and we can then type in IP config and we should be able to see our IP address has changed so we have 10.0.0.66 and 192.168.1.66 as our IPs. If you want to make sure the internet works, you can ping Google. Yeah, uh, Google's DNS. Yep. And just to make sure DNS works, we can ping google.com. And yep. So there we have it. We have the ability to change our IP address in Windows 8. So I hope this video has been useful. Um, if you want to see more videos like this, or just any other videos in general, please make sure to like and subscribe so that you are made aware when other videos come out. And if you've got any comments or feedback, please feel free to leave them in the comment section below, or make sure to do that on the website and I'll get back to that as soon as possible. So thanks for watching and see ya. Bye bye!